All right, so here's our head. It's huge, gigantic, but he's like an absurd amount. Uh, we lost the turbo charger on. We're gonna go through this uh, and clean everything up, replacing these, replacing it. Probably all the gaskets and seals and that. The way everything else was hard in here. Uh, assuming this is two, and then we're gonna go through all of the valves and get them to seal right. I'm also going to put any new sensors on, like this temp sensor that's still attached to this bracket. I'm going to put a new one on because it's all a rubber on the wires is bad. Uh, anyhow, we're going to replace all that. Uh, so you need an exhaust, gasket, all the good stuff. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pull this turbo off, set off to the side, and we're going to start cleaning up the head. This stuff is nasty. This white stuff here. It's oil and coolant mixture, not good. Definitely do not want to have that on your engine. Uh, that is for sure. So we're gonna clean it all up, get her all the seal nice. The turbo off and the exhaust manifold off. I also took three sensors that were up here by where the thermostat and the refrigerator hose goes in. Took those off just in case they're, they don't like solvents. Um, we're going to pull off the valve cover gasket because that's obviously nasty. Clean up all this stuff. Uh, we're going to take a wire wheel to all of the rust down and get it cleaned up nice. Probably could drill a wire wheel. Uh, we got some solvents that we're going to try to use to clean up the oil. Slash coolant mixture, and then we're gonna paint it sometime today, tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. I'm also gonna pull the valves off. This is the paint I got, it's this POR brand, like Ford Corporate Blue uh, engine enamel. So, everything that is rusty and bad looking, we're gonna paint with this. So, paint the head. I don't think we're gonna do the exhaust manifold, but we're gonna paint the valve cover and then some of the engine block with it. But we're gonna start cleaning this. So, for the next step here. So we got the head cleaned up, uh, I got most of the junk oil slash coolant mixture off. Uh, we have the valve compressor set here. So we're going to pull all these valves out. Um, they all need to be lapped in. I think all the seals are bad on them. They're leaking pretty bad. Uh, and Cutie even just put some the oil that was on here and it was leaking right through them off the back side. So they're not sealing. But yeah, we're going to take them all off so we can clean up everything, clean all the seats up, and then we can clean this side up, and then I have new valve seals and stuff coming, so hopefully they'll be here soon. And uh, we can get this thing back together, get some paint on it. I do have new injector cups coming too, so we're going to pull those out and put some new ones in. Um, I have anything to seal up with a lot of this engine. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to bust all these out. Uh, I should have these little keepers in here, compress it, pull the little keepers out. 
and everything comes apart and blows apart in pieces and you know but All right, so I've been working on the head. Um, I got the gasket surface all cleaned up, uh, everything there cleaned up. I cleaned out a lot of the ports. Um, this side still needs to be cleaned up some. Uh, we gotta replace these though. They just slide over the sleeves. They just slide over those uh, guides in there. We're just gonna grab them and pull them up. See them move with a pick. I figured they're pretty hard, so I gotta replace them. Yeah, this one's coming apart. Grab a screwdriver too. More on it some. Uh, they should just come out. They just sucked over those. There we go, just like that. So that's what they look like. Uh, they come off. These are really hard. Here, toes. Then we can clean up behind all this. So I'm gonna pop all these off and then clean it up and get ready to put the new ones on it. Uh, and then I'll clean up some of this rust down here. We get that ready. Now we're gonna put some paint on it, like I said before. Make it look good, um, not so rusty. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna do next. Pop all those on. So. Alright, so we were able to get out all of our injector sleeves. Um, I have my small hammer here. This is what I came up with to do it. Just kind of well in the sound, it's all crooked and stuff, but it didn't really make any difference if it's straight or crooked. It's just doing it on the garage floor. I slide hammer and capped out the brass with this three quarter tap, and then we threaded this three quarter bolt in. And I had a weld a bolt on the other side that fit into my slide hammer and threaded this onto my slide hammer. And I was able to just pound them out. They came out really easy. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually turn this up on the side. We got everything cleaned out. We got all these cleaned out pretty good. We are going to start to lap all of our valves in and get those set up and ready to put this back on. And then we're going to put the pistons in the truck. We got the sleeves in. That went fairly easy. Uh, I used to use two head bolts and something to span out, just drive them right on. But this is what we're going to do, we're going to clean up here some, uh, tip this up on the side and we're going to start lapping the valves in.
Alright, so we're making some progress on the head today. Uh, we got all these valves on. Uh, you guys can see the time lapse of that. It's pretty cool. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put these in here. So we got some uh, sleeve retainer stuff. So we're gonna put on these and pound these in. I already wire wheeled all these. Even inside, it's all shiny. You see there. Uh, so we're gonna put those in. Uh, then we're gonna get the pistons in. We weren't able to do that yesterday. We have some other stuff that we were working on. But we hope to get those in the day, get this head on, get everything sealed up, get the oil pan back on so we're not getting any dirt in it. But yeah, so we're going to pound these in. You know, these should be interesting to put in because they're oddly shaped. Uh, and get this thing ready to be put in. Uh, we're also going to put the paint on it. Alright, so we got the head all done. Got some blue paint on it. Uh, this is going to be ready to go in soon. We're going to turn over and work on the pistons here. But this is what it looks like. All the new sleeves in. All the valves are in. We lapped all the valves in. So they're all ready to rock and roll. Um, once this paint dries, we're going to go through and touch up all these surfaces. Make sure that they're ready for gaskets. <laughs> 